10 Cool Facts About Jackrabbits. These animals may look like a bigger version of cute bunny rabbits, but in fact, they are not rabbits at all. Jackrabbits are wild animals called American Desert Hares. Hares can stand on their back legs and throw punches like a human boxer. They can jump 10 feet, they can bite your finger off, and unlike true rabbits, they can eat meat. But why do jackrabbits have such big ears and what's up with that jiggly nose? Let's find out today on Animal Science TV. Fact 10, a terrible name. Take a look at these ears on the jackrabbit. They are very similar to donkey ears, don't you think? The donkey's nickname is Jackass, and that's where the jackrabbit's name originates from. Mark Twain is most famous for writing the fictional book titled The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, but the author himself did some real-life adventuring in the deserts of the western United States. In the 1800s, during the gold rush, he noticed a peculiar looking rabbit with huge ears. So in his next book, Mark Twain named this new species the Jackass Rabbit. Unfortunately, this incorrect name stuck and over time, people shortened it to Jack Rabbit. But Mark Twain was an author, not a scientist. Nine. Rabbits, hares, and Pikachus? The animal we call a jackrabbit today is actually a hare. More specifically, the American desert hare. On the tree of evolution, hares are close cousins to rabbits, but they are different in so many cool ways. At first, I thought that this second cousin of the hare in the Lagomorph family, Pika, was the inspiration for the Pokemon Pikachu, but but no, Pikachu is named after the Japanese words for spark. 8. Hares versus Rabbits Hares, including the jackrabbit, are twice as big as true rabbits and weigh up to 12 pounds. Proportionally, hare ears are much bigger than rabbit ears. So visually, ear size is the easiest way to tell a rabbit from a hare. The hare and the rabbit also sleep differently. Rabbits sleep underground in burrows, and hares, they sleep above the ground in the grass. Rabbits live in groups of maybe 20 or so, but hares, they like to be all alone. You'd be lucky to see them even pairing up. Rabbits have been domesticated by humans and are often kept as cuddly pets or as farm animals. But on the other hand, jackrabbits do very poorly in captivity. All hares, including jackrabbits, don't like being touched. 7. Green Machines and Diet The jackrabbit is an herbivore. Kind of. It likes eating grasses, roots, sticks, unripe fruit, clovers, and if it's lucky, some four-leaf clovers. They even eat dandelions. Leave me a comment. Have you ever tried to eat a dandelion? The only part that's actually inedible is the stem, but as a kid, I used to try to use those stems as a straw, and believe me, it tasted the opposite of delicious. Jackrabbits spend about eight hours per day eating, which horribly grinds down their teeth, but it's no problem. Their teeth grow forever, just like our fingernails do. There is speculation that jackrabbits can sometimes eat meat. The snowshoe hare, aka the snowshoe jackrabbit, has been spotted eating its main predator, the lynx. Hares can bite almost 33% as hard as a wolf, but no, this hare didn't kill the lynx in a fight. The lynx was already killed in another way, and the hare was just eating the carcass. This food source is called carrion, and yeah, it's gross, but dead animals contain a lot more protein and nutrients than four-leaved clovers do. 
The hare slash jackrabbit's main diet is low nutrient and low calorie greens. This food source is so poor that the jackrabbit will even eat its own poop to give it a second chance at digestion. Six, a tasty snack. The world is surprisingly dangerous for jackrabbits. They are a popular food item for many, many animals. Most of the big predators that live in the American desert ecosystem will try to eat jackrabbits. There are the hard to spot quick strike predators like snakes, owls, eagles, and hawks. But the main predators are mammals like foxes, mountain lions, coyotes, and bobcats. Everything is trying to eat the poor jackrabbit, but most of the time, trying isn't good enough because hares are super elusive. Five, natural defenses. A healthy adult jackrabbit is almost impossible to catch. They can run 45 miles per hour, but they're more famous for their ability to jump in these zigzags. They can jump about 10 feet with each double-legged step. The hare's predators are bigger than the hare, so they have more mass and can't turn as fast as the hare can. Less momentum to the rescue. Jackrabbits are literally jumpy, easily startled, and always on alert. Their best defenses are their speed, camouflage fur, keen hearing with those big donkey ears, and their eyesight. Jackrabbits are strong enough to bite a finger off if they're in a fight for their lives, but their coolest move is punching the opponent. In fact, female jackrabbits spend a lot of their time punching male jackrabbits. Four. Jackrabbit babies are not called bunnies. Jackrabbits reproduce about four times per year. Each litter consists of between one and six bunnies. But wait, no. Remember, jackrabbits are hares, not rabbits. Baby hares are called leverets. Interestingly, when the leverets grow up to be adults, the males are called jacks and the females are called jills. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of wait a minute. This is animal science TV, not nursery rhymes TV. Leverets are very different from bunnies. Bunnies are born completely blind and hairless. They can barely move. Baby rabbits are helpless. But on the other hand, jackass hair babies are born ready to run within hours. They already have hair and their eyes are wide open. This is probably because rabbits are born in the safety of an underground burrow, while hares, they're born on the open grassland and they might need to escape predators within hours of birth. Jackrabbits mate much like birds do. The male chases and plays with the female to show off his skills. The difference is that with birds, the female can just fly away, but with hares, if she doesn't like him, well, she'll just stand up on her back legs and start punching him away. These jackass boxing matches are quite a sight to see. Did you know? The jackrabbit lives in all four of the major North American deserts. Here is a map of the jackrabbit's territory. Your best chance of finding a wild jackrabbit is in South Dakota. But these four major deserts span further south than you might think, deep into Mexico. The four major North American deserts are called the Great Basin, the Mojave, the Chihuahuan, and the Sonoran Deserts. Three, elephant ears. Elephants and jackrabbits co-evolved the same mechanism for cooling themselves down. They both have wide and thin ears with a lot of surface area. The ears can spread hot blood into the capillaries just below the skin. 
Ears have almost 0% fat, so the heat can dissipate from the blood through the skin into the air, right out of the ears. Fat is insulating, like styrofoam, so even in us humans, heat can leave the body easier from the ears than from the belly, because most of us have some heat-trapping, insulating belly fat. Two, a jiggly schnoz. What's up with the jackrabbit's nose? It is constantly twitching all over the place. Well, this is a defense mechanism. The hare's nose allows it to easily detect nearby predators if they are upwind. The jackrabbit's sense of smell is about 20 times more powerful than that of us measly human beings. Also, Hares use their schnoz to communicate body language. I can't understand what a jiggling nose is communicating, but other hares can. This is somewhat similar to how dogs use their tails to communicate emotions. And one, a bright future. American desert hares, aka jackrabbits, are listed by the IUCN under the status of least concerned. I'm happy that finally one of the animals we covered on Animal Science TV is at least relatively safe. While the jackrabbits in the USA are doing okay, there is a species in Mexico that is critically endangered and needs our help. The Tuantepec jackrabbit will probably disappear soon because of human activity. Today we are building on their territory and hunting them for food. But, in general, all legomorphs, rabbits, hares, and pikas, are some of the most successful animals on Earth. They reproduce way faster than predators can catch them, and they can eat almost any form of vegetation. If there's one thing I want you to remember, it's that jackrabbits aren't rabbits at all. They are hares, and hares, hares are cool animals too. You can watch more cool animal fact videos in my playlist up here. I also have a 101 science education series if you want to learn more about science. And if you're a subscriber, I will see you in the next video. And to everybody, thank you for watching Animal Science TV.